vanilla, 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 can't stop. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a quick home bargains haul video. I've just realised that I now look like I've got an antennae. That's the lamp growing out of my head. I haven't, um, haven't been taken over by aliens. And today I popped in home bargains for one thing. I went in for these. I did get those, but I also got how many pounds worth of other stuff? I am due for an eye test, by the way. £31.83. So these would have been 2 49 I think these are. And then I managed to spend another 30 quid on top of that, pretty much. Some of it is Anthony's. In my defence, some of it isn't mine. So, first up then, let me show you. Let, should we get, we'll go in order of the receipt? We'll go in order of the receipt, because otherwise I get confused and I spend my life in a world of confusion. I had to buy two bags, because I only went in for one thing, so I didn't take any shopping bags. <laughs> so I had to buy two carry bags. That cost me 60p straight out. Carry bags are 30p. Is that is that standard now everywhere? Weren't they 10p at one point? First on the receipt then is puff pastry. Where's that? That's where I discovered I've got half the stuff I paid for. It. Jay, did you know Jane Asher made puff pastry? I knew she did a baking range, but I didn't know she brought out her own puff pastry as well. This is for a recipe. I've got some other bits here as well. Um, it's for a recipe where you do a cheese and ham thin slice bake thing i can't remember what else was meant to be in it i know there was cheese and ham but there was something else and i saw it on the tiktok and the problem with seeing things on tiktok is if you don't save them you'll probably never find them again so um so i might make it up as i go along but that's what that's for it's puff pastry to make a cheese and ham i suppose it would be a bit like a pasty one it'd be a thin cheese and ham bake is the plan so that was 109 the next up is the dishwasher tablets this seems to be at the moment the most economical way of buying dishwasher tablets because these have stayed at a pound they've got smaller now it says on there smaller tab same performance whether or not that's true or not so we've got a bit of shrinkflation but there's still 10 in there so you get 10 of these for a pound making them 10p each and pretty much all the other ones work out of 13 to 14 to 19p each when i looked at the price per item on the bag so this is still even though you get a smaller quantity it still works out at less per tablet kike's looking at me like he thinks he wants a, fish, a finished dishwasher tablet for his lunch all he's seeing is stuff you're not having a dishwasher tablet sweetheart you're not you're not having one he's the other side of the camera and he's staying there um next up anthony's coffee so he's got four of these all together he likes these cold coffees in a tin. They are 59p. I think they used to be 49p. I'm not sure. Might have been the other ones in a plastic cup. But these are 59p and he's got two caramel latte and two cafe latte. So that accounted for another two quid of the bill, didn't it? See, it's not all me. We bought a pet snake. Not a pet snake, obviously. That would be weird, wouldn't it? I mean, it's not weird if you have a pet snake, but it'd be weird if we went and bought one at home buckets. We bought a toy a toy dog toy snake these are 2.99 and they actually do really last they have three squeakers in there and they do last really well and kai you can have this to play with you can although he will now squeak off camera there you go <laughs> so 2.99 for that i may regret that if he finds the squeaker and squeaks all the way through the rest of the video Anthony got a couple of pot noodles and we commented on how much these have gone up in price. These used to be 50p, squeak. They used to be 50p, they're now 95p. And if Home Bargains is a cheapy shop, that means they're more money elsewhere, doesn't it? Didn't I buy one in B&M on a B&M haul a few weeks ago and it was well over a pound, but it was a king size. But even so, 95p for pot noodle. Pot noodle, you know, the, the food of zero nutrition. It must have some nutrition in it, mustn't it? <laughs> to be fair, there's nearly 10 grams of protein in that. So that's not that bad, protein-wise. There's 58 grams of carbs, 17 grams of fat. You wouldn't think there'd be fat in it, which I know sounds weird, because it's de not decomposed. It's not, what's it called when things are dried out? I can't think of the word for things that are dried out. I'll look it up and put it on the screen, or it'll come back to me. Not decomposed, it's not that. But because it's dried out, because it's dried food, you don't think of the fat content, but actually... It, um, it has a quite a high fat content and it has 430 calories for pot noodle. Won't affect me because I don't like them. 
never liked the pot noodle. I've been a fan. Oh, he also got himself a ham and cheese slice because he's uh, he's doing a dog walk this afternoon. So he said, I'll have a ham and cheese slice for my dog walk while I'm trudging it. His exact words were while I'm trudging around in the rain. <laughs> so ham and cheese slice is 95p. We did get some reduced flapjacks. Should I be buying flapjacks? Probably not. Were they reduced to 75p? Yes, they were. So they're out of date tomorrow. Short dated. Mini flapjack bites. See, 62 calories per bite. And the thing is, you look at that and you go, it's only 62 calories. I'll have one of them. Who can have one? You can't have one. What you do is you go, oh, you have one. And then you go, I just have another one. That's still only 120. Maybe I can have another one. And now that's an odd number. So now I'll have another one. <laughs> Before you know it, like I've had half a packet of those. That's the end of that. If I don't open them, I can't eat them. I did get two of the protein puddings. I know these are not, I mean, these are 20, 20 grams of protein, which is it's not bad, but there are much better ways to get your protein. And I am aware of that. However, these scratch, scratch a sweet tooth. You don't scratch one, do you? Scratch an itch, satisfy a sweet tooth. Squeak, squeak, squeak. They satisfy a sweet tooth and I feel at least they've got some protein going on rather than just having something else that's sweet. I should so not have given him that. And I've done, I've, I'm not new here. It's not the first time I've made one of these videos. It's not the first time I've bought a dog toy and made this mistake. You'd think I'd learn. Uh, there's a caramel point. They're 99p each, which makes them quite a bit cheap. I think they're 120 odd now in Aldi. So that's good, good, cheaper than Aldi. And they have them in three flavours in Home Bargains as well. They have the vanilla, 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 can't stop. They have the vanilla. It's not vanilla that's the problem. It's saying the vanilla. That's difficult. They have vanilla and chocolate and caramel. Home Bargains bought out... No, no, no. Aldi bought out strawberry and coffee ones, which I have both tried both of them and don't... I didn't mind the strawberry, but the coffee one was disgusting. Probably not if you like coffee. I have got... Oh, this is something I have never seen before. Fanta strawberry and kiwi. I'm probably late to the party. Everybody else has probably seen it and been drinking it all summer. It was only uh two something what was it no 199 that's even cheaper than it said on the shelf i think i think it said 229 on the shelf and it came up 199 on the till 199 for eight cans to a 25p a can and i thought well for it's a zero sugar one so i thought i would try it because i never have so strawberry and kiwi zero sugar fanta give it a smell test i can smell the kiwi Mm. it's not very fizzy it tastes almost like a flavoured water rather than a fizzy pop it has some fizz but not not a lot of fizz to it it would you can you can see that that would be really really nice in a glass with ice on a hot summer's day I sound like the beginning of a meatloaf song <laughs> on a hot summer's night. Would you offer your throat to the wolf with the red roses? Um, would you offer your throat to the zero Fanta strawberry and kiwi? Let me know if you've tried it and what, what you thought of it. Oh God. Come back. Gal Farm ibuprofen 200 milligram tablets, 39p. Those have gone up in price. Not only have they gone up in price, but I have lost them. Didn't these just be 19p or have I imagined that? Anyway, 39p ibuprofen. Don't need to make me say much more about that, do you? Some spectacle wipes because mine have all disappeared again. However, there are three glasses wearers in this house, so that's probably why. Shall I give myself the gift of sight while I'm sitting here talking to you? My glasses get disgusting. And Natalie's are worse. And Anthony's, I mean, Anthony tends to do construction-y things most of the time. And sometimes the light catches his glasses and I look at him and I'm like, how can you see? And I'll take his glasses off and clean them, hand him back and he's like... <laughs> as the world suddenly comes into into view right i did pop in yesterday to spec savers and get them to give me some, some new nose pieces because mine had gone green which was weird and unpleasant there you all are that's what anthony does when i clean his glasses like whoa should i clean you as well hang on there isn't that nice don't you look smart okay so spectacle wipes are are they still 99p? They've been 99p. Yeah, they're still 99p for a box of spectacle and lens wipes. Hair and fluff catchers, three pack. These were reduced. These were down to 75p. So they were originally 149. They were down to 75p. That might be because I think there's only two in there instead of the three. I have tried so many different things in the washing machine to try and 
catch the dog hair that you know that comes back on the on the laundry and so these go with the tumble dryer and since it is now tumble dryer season coming up isn't it? i'm not going to get much washing done on the line on in this in these coming weeks months so i thought we'd have these it is it is recommended to use all three balls per load but i don't have three so i'll have to use two not suitable for wool or delicates it feels a bit like the rough side of a washing up sponge so i thought since they reduced 75p i would try them because you know What's the worst that can happen? They don't work. I've lost 75p. I got dry cured honey roast ham for that recipe that I said earlier on. Hang on. Where is it? There we go. Dry cured honey roast ham. Six six sheets. You don't get ham in sheets. Can I have a sheet of ham, please? Six slices of honey roast ham. And I bought caramelised onion, seriously spreadable, to go in there as well. I, I, I wish I could remember the missing layer that's meant to go in. There's another layer of something. I'm going to see if I can find the TikTok recipe. So the ham is 129 and the seriously strong spreadable is 115. And I got a packet of my face wipes. These are the face wipes that I thoroughly highly recommend. You know, every now and again you go, this is the best I've ever. And I might do a best I've ever video. You know, like this is the best so-and-so I've ever bought. Because we go through life buying lots of things to try and think, oh, that was rubbish. I'll have to get a different one. So maybe I'll do a best of video. But anyway, if I do, these will be in it. I suppose it's the same as current favourites, isn't it? But maybe there's maybe there's things around the house that you go, oh, you know, we know we we had a series of crap ones of that until we got a so and so from so and so place. Maybe. Kai, I don't have any more toys. Love, you had it. I did get my turmeric turmeric joint capsules as I showed you earlier on. They're two seventy nine. They used to be two forty nine. They've gone up. Everything's gone up, Carla. And I paid two forty nine because I think I misled the shelf for a ten pack of Cadbury's Twirls, which you are definitely not having because you are a dog. Do you know you're a dog? Are you a dog? Oh. Woof, woof. Say a woof. Woof. Yes, you're still a dog though. So he's not having a Cadbury's Twirl. Um, Molly's under the chair. I'm just realised. Sorry, Molly. Um, so two forty nine, but there's ten in there. Makes them twenty five for each, doesn't it? Um, single stick serving, hundred and fourteen calories. I got a packet of gravy bones. These are not for our house. Oh God, timber. These are to me to take to work. We have a um, a dog biscuit, dog biscuit barrel at work for when dogs come in. So these are to take to work for dogs there. So they're not for you, but I will find you a, you guys a treat in a minute from the kitchen. There are treats for you guys in the kitchen. Uh, how much are those gravy bones? One twenty nine. Again, they I'm sure they used to be ninety nine p. Everything's going up. Pink Stuff Power Drops Concentrated. I wanted a bottle of disinfectant because I just finished ours and I saw this concentrated one so I thought well it'd take a lot less space in the cupboard. I like the Pink Stuff paste. I really, really do rate that. So this is... Shush, Kai. Shush. Shush. This is the Miracle Power Drops Concentrated Multi-Purpose Disinfectant. It will kill 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses. Dilute it and spray it. Soak it, wipe it, mop it or use neat down drains and plug holes. Directions for use to use neat... Apply to cloth or surface, ensuring area has been cleared of heavy soiling. Ugh. To use diluted, one part concentrated disinfectant to 40 parts of water. One cap equals approximately 10 mil. One bottle makes 10 litres of disinfectant. We'll see if it's any good. I mean, it's disinfectant. How bad can it be? And then I got... Oh, the last thing. Last thing. You've seen everything now, apart from these. And these are not thrilling. Crisps. Walker's Baked Crisps, which are slightly low in calories. They're 96 calories a bag. I got one pack of pork cocktail and one pack of plain. And they're, they're 50% less fat. And I don't eat crisps all the time. I'm far more of a sweet tooth than a crisp person. But every now and again, I think, bag of crisps. So I try and buy the baked ones to keep the calories down a bit. And that's it. That little lot cost me £31.83p. But I would say at least four quid of it is not it his drinks are 220 his pot noodles are two quid for the two he's, he's got a ham and cheese slice yeah yeah i feel much better about the money i've spent now that i know a tiny proportion of it wasn't me thank you for joining me for this video i hope you've enjoyed it um let me know if you have tried the strawberry and kiwi and let, what you thought of it yeah, let me know if you think a video on this is the best so and so i have ever bought i will find a snappier title would be worth doing the but you know this is the best xxx i have ever got best tin opener for example although i don't think i'm actually qualified for that one because i don't think i've ever found a decent tin opener but for example let me know if you think that would be an interesting video i will see you guys soon take care bye for now